Hello guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil Zero. Let me move that mouse. Um, so, in the last video, we were in the cabin. And we were trying to... We were trying to figure something out don't rightly remember what, but that's what we were doing. And, uh, on that note, we're just going to continue on. Don't hit, I don't have any substantial things in my inventory that would uh yeah the last you had just got billy as your ally obviously so oh okay yeah so you're still pretty near the beginning of the game yeah so i just got billy did i have a i did not have a first aid Thinking I yeah, need you had one herb and already used it. Yeah, that's yeah I did because I got bit by zombies over here. I remember. Or and maybe that one dog came from off screen. Yeah, that dog. Oh, that dog of mine. Sorry. <laughs> this room and this next room should be safe. Don't have to go up top this time around again. Because I did that last time. So I think I've actually got to go back here. Is this screen called the Eclipse Express? a good question. Oh, wait. Ecliptic Express. Oh, Ecliptic Express? This is the place I went up and had... It had the... The one guy... That I called... A, uh... The, uh, the leech guy. You know, the pre-rendering of this actually has uh, a lot of advantages aesthetically. Oh yeah, this game's... It's kind of weird because, like, this game and the one remake is very aesthetically pleasing to have, uh, like, the rendered backgrounds and stuff. Okay, it looks like an automatic door. So this video may actually be me just trying to figure out what I'm doing now. Uh, because I cannot remember. Maybe I go up this door, this uh, little area here. There's something you definitely need. Oh, yeah. That's going to get aggravating. I keep switching my person. You stay here. Yeah. Come on. Okay. Okay, so now I'm at least in the mid level of caution. Oh yeah, Ecl Ecliptic Ex Express is the name of the, the train. I know you figured that out earlier. I was trying to figure out why you were asking. 
And yeah, <laughs> I can only you can only read part of it on the loading screen there. Oh, okay. Okay, so oh wait, one of these rooms I think has something in it that Okay, that's the safe room. I can't remember if I got everything out of this room or not. See, it's kind of neat that it's got like bottles that are like randomly rolling around and stuff. Yeah, because you, you would definitely have that on a train. There's a lot of vibration. Yeah. So, I've already tried this door, talked to this dude, and this door's locked. Okay, so, you stay here. Yeah. okay, so, yeah. conductor's office. that mean you got to find a conductor's key? Uh, yes, I will need a conductor's key at some point. It's been far too long since I played this game, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I only remember bits and pieces. So I, re I remember being strong, a strong wind's blowing outside. I know at some point in time I have to go and climb the top of the train. Okay. I have to do something with that, I know for a fact, here soon. The puzzles in this game are, uh, puzzling, no pun intended, sometimes. Yeah, it's just trying to figure out where everything is. Especially on this train. Actually, I wonder if I can. I wonder because. I'll go check over there. Yeah. Oop, wrong button. Follow me. Well, it's why we had the video game guides back in the day. True. I'm gonna check the map and see if there's a room. There or wasn't something. exactly enough uh, storage space to fit audio lines and everything telling you exactly what to do. So. Yet buy the twenty dollar guidebook. Yeah, that's definitely true. Okay, an automatic door, so no power. I'll go. Okay. Let's regroup. Okay. It's not really needed with all the wikis and everything today, but yeah, and I don't want to. I don't want to Google what to do next, but at the same time, I kind of feel like I should. Oh, okay, hold on. Never mind. I don't need it.
somewhere I remember. Now you're separated. Yes. Good times. But, the good thing about being separated is I do not have to worry about Rebecca getting injured. Oh yeah, this, there's something stuck in the keyhole preventing the door not from turning. This is why she doesn't start with a knife, isn't it? Maybe. No, she has a knife. She didn't start oh. with it. Oh. I bet you gotta be on the other side of it. Um, it's either that or, um, I've got to, I'm gonna call this service lift here, because the service lift is actually gonna do something very helpful for me. It's going to allow me to give something to Billy that he needs to have. bad these tank controls are actually kind of they're haunting me a little bit right now See, another good thing, though, about the Resident Evil games is that the atmosphere is always there. Or, or at least in this particular one. Train definitely doesn't lack any creepiness. That's, that's, that's a definite for sure. So we've got this key now. Let's uh, examine it and see what it says. Conductor's room. Okay. So we do have the conductor key. Now we're gonna. That's one thing that a lot of people that haven't played a lot of Resident Evil might not do on these games is check out what the item actually says on it or if there's an inscription yeah sometimes it's really helpful especially like like in this instance where there's a lot of different doors um i mean yeah they might be straight narrow doors you know or might be like a little corridor type door but you know, there's a lot of different variant, variants of ways that we can go that that key might be used for. But we would never know unless we looked at the key and it's like, you know. Yeah, like a lot of the other uh, games... There, there's a ring or something, I think it's in four or five, I think it's in four that you got to look at in the original. I believe you're right. There, there's, there's multiple different items like this throughout the series regardless. I could be misremembering. It would be easy to do. I don't think you are misremembering. I think, I think you've, uh, 
got the nail on the head there. Well, there's only, like, 12 games, so... <laughs> it, it gets kind of hard to remember them all. Yeah, that's definitely true. Note from the conductor. The key card for the driver's component or compartment is in my bag, as always, but I need the other guy's key, too, to open the damn thing. But it looks like I've lost it somewhere. If it was a normal key, someone would be sure to turn it in, but this key is different. I'll look for it, too, but if you happen to find it, please hand it in. Thanks in advance. Okay, so, um... The conductor is, uh... Oh, wait, there's more of a train map, so we'll get that. There's a... Let's flip that switch. What's that do? Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to examine this briefcase and open it up. Oh, never mind. It's locked with two holes. Okay, so I can't do anything with that right now. Um, so this game is a little different. Um, uh, to combine herbs, Rebecca has to do that. Because she's actually got some... Uh, She's actually got some... Call it a specialty. Yeah, and, uh... Oh, Billy here, he's got the, uh, the lighter. A staple they in Resident Evil. They were trying Evil. to make her more of a supporting character, even though she's a main character. Yeah. And he was more of the, uh, powerhouse. Uh, there's something to grab right there. There's the oh, sharp... Oh, that's what you needed. Yep, there's the sharp object. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, I'm about to fight something I don't really want to fight. Oh, and a first aid spray. I think I'm full on inventory space, and I am. And was that a shotgun, too? It was. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave this briefcase. And... You could leave the red one and keep the green one for healing in case you need it. Since yeah. only Rebecca can combine them. True. Um, I don't think I'm going to heal right yet, um, only because, um, no. Oh, you still don't have enough because it, uh, takes yeah, up two slots. It does, yep. So I'm going to have to take the green herb and, uh, leave it as well. Yeah, hopefully you don't have to heal soon. Well, if I do, what I will do, I have to hit the wrong button. I meant to hit. You can just come back here and get it. Yeah. Now, I'm going to have to fight my first boss here in a second. Some of this game is coming back to me, but there's a giant crab, I think. I think it's a giant crab. Might be a lobster or something, or scorpion. Yeah, it was a scorpion. Boy, does he have some pinchers. 
Oh yeah. How much more do I have of that? Can I just do like this? Oh, I can. Good. This is where the pre-rendered backgrounds get annoying. That is indeed the case with this. Thankfully, you've almost got him. Hopefully. Starting to turn colors and bleed a little, so... Well, one thing's for sure, Billy can take a beating. Yeah, it's kind of funny this is a baby boss by Resident Evil standards. That's true, yeah. Sad to say. I mean, you're starting to get hurt. Alright then. And he just kind of, uh... What's my uh, status? Okay. See, Bill Billy's kind of a tank-like character, in my opinion. I need this, but you know what, we'll come back for that, I believe. First things first, <clears throat> let's get Rebecca. Actually, I want to go into the save room right quick and see how I'm doing on time. And that's not the save room. <laughs> this one is. Alright, and on that note, it has been time. So, find out on the next episode of Resident Evil Zero if I get to Rebecca, which I probably will. And also. Sorry, what? Now, kudos for the giant scorpion getting defeated. Have a good one, guys.